among the staff at Toulon about what's happening with the coaching team next year, but I suppose those concerns will be put to one side at least for tonight. I guess what happens over the course of the next half an hour or so. And if they win, next week we'll have some part in that. Here's Mikhail Dautza. He knows where he's going next season. And Montpellier, Stefan Armitage. Offloading there to Cholashapa. Instinctively, the Toulon players sensing they're right up against the white line here. Samu Manoa, another powerful carry taken out by Pierre Spice. There goes Gorgotza. Gerardo is looking for it. Gitto's right in there. Pelletier, here's Manoa. Spee stands up to him, as does Nariashvili. The try line in the background. Jalashaba. Too long with Bailey. They can get the ball across the line now. They'll have one foot on the plane to Barcelona. Just two and a half minutes gone in this second half. Fernandez Lobe. Felicier just directing the traffic onto the open side. Nonu, long pass, it's a poor one. Half penny, forced to change direction. Great break. There's Nonu, three meters out. He's unstoppable. Well, it came from a poor pass from Nonu. Half penny steadied the ship, created the opening. And it was the powerful run from Nono in the end which took them over the try line. Yeah, brilliant finish there from Martin Nonu. He's been questioned at times this year by Bujalad, the owner of Toulon. Chucks out a loose ball off his left hand, but then watch this, Lee Halfpenny back against the grain. Steps through, I think it's Katrakilis, and then Martin Nonu, Jesse Mogg hanging on for dear life. We're not stopping him from there, he keeps his legs pumping. That was it there, the break from Halfpenny. He's been out since September. First game back, offloads to Marnano. Look at Jesse Mogg clinging on for Step. absolute dear life. And Marnano has done Step. that a few times in the colours of the All Blacks. And he might be the guy that has put them, given them one foot into the final next week. Well, when he's in this sort of mood, it's like trying to stop an Aberdeen Angus running downhill. I wouldn't mind eating one of those, but I wouldn't like to tackle Marnano. Let me tell you, what an absolute monster.